Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T N T Nine. I'm Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding it very sturdily. And we're playing Resident Evil Three. We're Carlos now, Carly Ray Jepsen. Yeah, dude. He uh, he's got um, Call a me machine maybe. gun and a handgun. That's good, man. You're gonna like that machine gun. Yeah, dude. I definitely do like it. You're gonna love the way you look. Yeah, dude. Exactly. What was that guy's name? The, um, I'm Mark. <laughs> no, that's yeah, but right. that's not the guy from. You know, love the way you look. <laughs> that's the. That's the I'm Mark from Mark's Furniture. I'm Mark from Mark's Furniture. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Isn't that our friend? Sorry. <gasps> it's the cop, dude. <gasps> that's how we got bit. Uh, this is before, dude. I get it now. Yeah, it's our buddy that we killed in the last one. It's like this is like a precursor to. Shit, it's locked. So when Chris comes in, you stay oh, the he just spread the I virus. Come on. Come get some. Okay, or that doesn't hit him. Cause I'm garbage. <laughs> or that doesn't hit him. <laughs> you made a perfect outline around his head. Come on. Oh, you're not gonna finish that man off. He said, like "Leave it. him." Come on. No. You know, don't care. We got a job to do. I don't know why. You would say that. still worth a damn than Bard's in the Star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. So this is before we even came Carlos, in this piece. This. Yeah. So everything's going to work properly because nothing was all jacked up. Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. Oh, that'll be cool he to go back and play two memory. after this. <laughs> so this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter uh, so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Boom. Hey, be careful. Yeah, you too, man. Dude, that is, this is cool, dude. Just because, like, I've seen us play through the, the, <laughs> the second one. Right, yeah. It's like, now I get it, dude. You're like, oh, yeah, that's our buddy who died. and I don't remember his name, though, but I do remember. Dr. X is it in was, here, I swear to God. It was like oh, Oscar man. or something. Oh, that's where you get down to the... To the dog parking lot, dude. He just said, all right, you want me to keep out, I'll stay out. You get down to the dog parking lot, dude, and then there's a the, the bunch of dogs in the parking lot. <laughs> what is this? A oh, new yeah. type of box to open? ID security card photo. Okay, each member has been issued an ID card. Required to access storage boxes. Don't lend your card to anyone. So I take it, I need a key card, which I do not have yet. Crack this open. This is going to be a puzzle? Nope. I remember coming through here, but all this was done. Okay. Wow, it's like... Oh, that does not sound good. Is that Mr. X? No, that's Nemesis. What the hell was that thing? Dude, pretend like you what? Oh, come on, man. There's nothing there. No, he was a little farther down the hall. It was well, here. Hopefully oh, there's the, that cop was there. It, when we came back. Oh, yeah, 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 number two, yeah. Guess now you know how he got there. I can't, oh, I can't use my knife normally, I guess. <gasps> oh. I think that guy was there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I remember him dripping. Yeah. And then this is the room with all the items in it. Yep, confiscated item. Yeah. That's where Mr. X came in and was chasing us around. It was scary. Uh, dude, I remember. I don't want Mr. X to come back, dude. I didn't stick around. Oh, remember you had to put wood up? Didn't we have wood or something? Yeah, you got to put wood on the windows uh -huh. to keep them from coming in. So, high rate of fire, but the bullets do considerably less damage per shot. Fair enough. Yeah, I think that's how it normally... 
goes with that, but holy crap. But it's... I mean, it's an AR-15, so that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Guys. Oh, it's a big boy. Right. Big, warm RPD welcome. Dude, don't pretend. Don't make jokes. <laughs> don't pretend. Don't make jokes. <laughs> Yeah, right? I agree with that, John. Yeah, Nobody don't... pretend or make jokes. Yeah, don't make... Yeah, dude. It's like when we're... It's like when you're... No more jokes. Yeah, this is serious stuff right now, right? Yeah, dude. It's scary. <laughs> Nobody makes one-liners when their life is in danger. Yeah. Right? There was someone on this table over here. I think, like, if I was in every situation, like, I would probably still make jokes. Uh, No. I don't think I would, and I don't think you would either. I'd probably cry a lot, though. I could see that. Oh, a flash grenade. Those are cool. <laughs> Blind nemesis, because I feel like he's going to be chasing me around the police station the whole flipping time. Like, I, I think it's amazing the stuff that I'd be able to cry through and hide. Because <laughs> I, I would, the man, crying and hiding, yes. What happened to I wish a mother ever would? Well, I do, but, like, if it's zombies, then, nah, dude, I'm crying and hiding. You can't beat up a zombie. I don't know if you know this. Right, you're like, it's not a physical There's altercation. Something in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Watch your six, bro. You know, like zombies, demons from hell, uh, dragons. Yeah, crying and hiding is your only chance there. Never underestimate the power of cowardice. Of tears? <laughs> Never underestimate will, when you cry. I will 1,000% use cowardice as my yeah, primary is... defense. I need the heart key. Oh, that's the clear heart room that we it didn't get is. to see. Dude. You didn't get there because you never played the clear playthrough. Foreshadowing. Ah! What there's, is that? There's a lot of guys, dude. What is that dude on the ground? I don't know, dude. Where I gotta go? If I run that way, there's nothing. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do them. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do them, dude. Gotta yeah. do them, dude. You're gonna have to go forward eventually. I know. I'm just scared. All right. W let's... mouse one, John. This is all right. Oh, okay. come on! Bro. In get from get behind. Out of, get out of my dreams and into my car. Oh, this was the liquor hallway. Licker, barely newer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, those lickers are not cool. It looks like you don't have to deal with them. I'm not here. Come on, get out of my dreams and into my car, Billy Ocean. They gave you a lot of guys, but this gun is just like, it goes through them, man. Yep. Even if you hit him in the chest, like, it's almost easier to hit him in the chest. Center mass. Yeah, because uh, it's hard to hit him in the head. Give me that green herb. Make me sweat. Sorry. That was inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Jonas. I want Just you to saying. live your truth. Green herbs make me sweaty, dude. I can't help it. It's my inner, it's my inner horticulturist. <laughs> they just make me happy. Yeah, dude. Shit. I'm talking about kale because I really, really, really like kale. Kale? I haven't had kale in a long time, but um, I do like kale. Sorry? Have you ever had kale? I mean, I know what it is. You kale boy? That's no. that wasn't. The, I don't know how you answer my. You just you answer with your own choice of answer. <laughs> Dude, that's how I live my life. Have you ever had kale? I mean, I know I've it, ridden I, in a taxi cab before. I'm aware it exists. <laughs> I have not, uh, I think I've had it, dude. It's kind of like a mix between, like, dry seaweed and, like, lettuce, right? <laughs> it's a little overly reductive, but yes. I guess it is kind of, but it's not really seaweedish. It's more of a broad leaf. It's like a thicker, broader, more fibrous leaf. You a thick broad. <laughs> Thank you? <laughs> please? <laughs> Can you please hook me up? Because... Ah! Oh, don't get out of my dreams, dude. Get out. Get out. No. I would no. love a thick broad. <laughs> See, so here's my thing. 
So we've established that getting bit by zombies, and I, I already know this has been brought up. We've established that getting bit by zombies spreads the virus. Claire's been bitten nine trillion times. Carlos has been bitten at least three times now that I can count. Why are we not ending them? They just put a little first aid spray, shove a, a, a shove a plant in their mouth, and they're good. Yeah, dude, I guess so. I need to find the combination of the safe. We don't get that in that safe. That's the safe that uh that Chris gets into, and then he finds the badge. Uh, yeah, but it, it it literally says safe. Like I can get into it now. It, that's where he finds the shield badge, uh, the USB thingy. Well, yeah, I know, but like. How do you remember that? You don't remember anything. I remember video games, though. <laughs> like, Jesus. I'm the guy who remembers everything, and I don't remember that. I, 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 this I, was a safe room. If right I had played to it, I would remember a lot more. But, uh, yeah, I do remember most of the stuff that happened here. <clears throat> Internal memo. Uh, heat resistant three. Number combination safe. Move from... Heat oh, there you go. There's your combination. Nine fifteen seven. Yeah, that sounds about right. Nine fifteen seven. Okay, cool. And then oh, here. Oh, I remember this, yeah, dude. Freaking explorer room. Things, I'd be set. If cameras killed those things. I'd be set. That was where we had to develop pictures. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Oh yeah, the dark room. They're just like, nah, dude, you're good. You don't need that anymore. I'm like, oh. But I'll save, because I want to make sure, and I'll look in my chest. Mm -hmm. Funny you never look in my chest anymore. <laughs> if you had something to look at, I would. Wow! <laughs> well, Jonas literally just called me flat on why camera. Don't you, why don't you get that something that taken care of, and I'll love you more. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to get implants? <laughs> I'll love you more. You want me to look at your chest? I mean, would that help? <laughs> I don't know. Well, how would, would you feel better? Would, I don't know. Would you like me more? <laughs> I would be I, more of your friend. Would you be I'd more be like, of my friend? I would, let, dude. I'd be like, hey. If I let you touch my... <laughs> <laughs> fake breasts. <laughs> <laughs> How would I feel about that? Uh, bad, probably. I mean, I think I would be okay with it. Honestly. Would you? I don't, uh, know. you don't even like me giving you a high five. You wouldn't definitely wouldn't let me fondle your man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I, I just okay. So look, check it. I don't have a problem. Like if you were nine fifteen seven. Like okay. if you were to get like two palmfuls of like some wet platinum, just lube, and you started rubbing my chest, dude. It's cool, you know? But if you get a boner from it, then that's a problem. Oh, okay. So if I just want to, like, come over and rub your hand, that's all right? I guess not. Right, no. dude. Okay, Why would it so be yeah. different if it was your breasts? Well, nine, I'm just saying that. Mine left. Okay. Left, right, left. Okay. Nine, everybody has eight, breasts. But I just have a problem, like, if you touch my chest and you Fudge, get Fudge, dude. If I touch him and then I get if aroused? You, yeah, if you get aroused from touching me, then that's a problem. Like, if every time you touched me, you orgasmed, just uncontrollably. Dude, is there anyone that you've ever touched in your life that you orgasmed? Why would it be? Why would that happen for you? That's a fair question. <gasps> right off Wake the bat. Wake me up and make my hips wide. Right off the bat, huh? Yeah, dude. They're hooking me. I'm getting something, dude. I'm going to get... What? What? So what? Give me what? What? What, is, what does that mean? Jeffrey. It's <laughs> a, a, a little fun for you, dude. <laughs> boop and a bop bop. <laughs> Jeffrey. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said so boop and a bop bop. Jonas is referring to... <laughs> it is a very loose reference, mind you, to... <laughs> A, a young thug song because I'm, apparently that's what you heard when you listened to it. Okay, I encourage you all to go listen to Jeffrey. It sounds just like that. One of Young Thug's mixtapes. He's wearing a dress on the cover. It's pretty good. Yeah. J Jonas apparently uh, ag ag agrees to some extent. I've heard it. Sounds just like it. Just I'm like how you feel about kale. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Isn't Young Thug just a cross between seaweed and <laughs> lettuce? <laughs> I mean, yes, again. <laughs> again, we've more like we've reefer and Whoa, lettuce. Dude, look, that's where I'm supposed to go, right there. All right. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is a dead end. Oh, there was some, there was like a, a locker you could unlock in Resident Evil. Uh, mm hmm. Note to a friend. Hey, friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. <laughs> Dirty noise is coming from the locker. Please don't open it, please. Uh oh. While you're out on patrol, I focus feeding away, finding a way to get to the other side. Real explosives might be your best bet. Pretty good bomb. We don't need batteries for the detonator. Pretty sure I set one to the safety deposit room, which we couldn't get into yet. And uh, we need the battery. Knock this wall down. Head upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower, I was attacked. Blah, blah, blah. Huh. Break the shower room wall. So he wrote the note and then left it there for Derek to find later. Right? Better not. Yes. Oh, ass, dude. I remember these. The key word is ass. Oh, dude. It's not ass, dude. Did All right. He, uh, did he give us a clue in here? It's abs. I don't think so. I don't. I don't know. I remember this being broken down. I remember this being broken down. I remember this. This was definitely a part. You had to take it up to the <laughs> attic where the liquors were and put it on the wall. Yeah, but why don't I just set it up to take it? Oh, it needs batteries. Yeah, you got to put batteries in there. And keep it there. Okay, so I'm going to put it examine. Yeah, so you don't have batteries oh, yet. Okay. I mean, you might as well take it with you. It just takes up a spot, though. I mean, yeah, the battery. I got to put it back here anyway. The battery's going to take up a spot. Then, oh, I guess true, I guess. Yeah, good point. Because then either way, it's going to take up one spot. And then it holds the spot for the battery. Precisely. Yeah, open this up. Yeah, if you knew the code. Yeah, dude. Did I get anything else that gave me any sort of... I don't know. That, that note didn't have anything. Wes. Else. Let's see if Wes opened it. That's a three-letter word. Can I do Wes? <laughs> nope. It's A through S. Wesley. <laughs> what a name, dude. Wesley. <laughs> Try every combo. Go. Yeah, might as well. Dude. I mean, there's not a here. lot. There's only like, I don't know the exact number. Right? Oh, wait, there's, some, there's some health in here. Three to the 33rd power. There we go. All right, cool. Some other stuff. And you got some extra slizzots. Ooh, just going to eat that raw yeah, herb right I there. I needed it, dude. I needed a little bit of pick-me-up. Just take it off the shelf and shove it in your mouth, dude. Put it between your tongue and your, your, gum, your gum line and your lip. Yeah? Chewing tobacco. Yeah, dude. That's some, that's some, what the F? Why did it not open? Oh, where is he? Okay. I'm going to go upstairs now. Third floor. Find me a little battery, boy. That guy is alive. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> there we go. All right. I like that. Yeah, me too. It makes me happy. I like that. And safety and the item. A key. The diamond key or whatever. Also, freaking Rico Suave actually deals with like actual keys and stuff. Okay. Yeah. It's weird though because they had <laughs> keys in the other one. That that one has a thing too. See, and I remember both of these. I don't remember what the the codes were for either one of yeah, those. Yeah, I'm. Sure, I mean, they'll be in a memo or something that we come across. But that's it. That's all that's up here. Oh, there's a guy that's probably alive. I walked by him a couple times. He's actually dead, or he'll come to life later. Yeah, there's nothing else up here. Okay. All right. Well, that's top floor. So back down stars. Yeah. Oh, there's. I can get out that. I can get out that door to go out into the main hallway. Mm-hmm. 
through that room. So let me go down, back down her, and then we will get into the rest of that on the next episode. Because that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe while you're at it. Uh, if you've done that and you're already watching us have fun, then just watch everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you really run, you running out of ish to say, aren't you? I don't have any, dude. I'm, I'm busy. I'm trying to focus. I had a couple drinks. That's fine, dude. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out. Rip.